I am Dr. Neema Bisht, BDS by degree and a pharma professional. I am founder of Career in Pharma, wherein I provide guidance and training to healthcare professionals and life science graduates on how they can make career into pharmaceutical industry. Till date, we have guided and trained more than 500 students and many of them are now placed into various companies also under my guidance. Also, I want to tell you that beware of fake people who are operating under the name of Career in Pharma or by my name. So to connect with us, please see the description below for all the links and also you can see the mail ID provided in the description box. Hello everyone, once again I welcome you all to Career in Pharma. Uh, so today in this video, I'm going to talk about medical coding, which is very most common question, question I get a lot of times for my viewers, from my students. So why it is important to understand what is the medical coding and how is the future in this? So that whenever you see any medical coding position and you should be knowing how to go about it. Okay. So the about this medical coding information, I'm going to cover this medical coding topic in two, three videos. So in today's videos, I will just stick to what is medical coding and what is the eligibility criteria to enter inside medical coding and last, how does AI going to impact it and uh, you know, automation going to impact this medical coding. Only these three topics I'm going to take in today's video. And in the upcoming videos, we are also going to talk about, uh, you know, job opportunities in India and abroad and also uh, how to go about CPC certification, which is like a certification through which you become a certified coder. Yes. So let's begin with this video. First of all, what is medical coding? Yeah. So and also I will tell you what are different types of coding inside this medical coding. So guys, uh, we have some medical coding inside pharmacovigilance clinical research also that is totally different from this medical coding. Okay, so please try to understand inside pharmacovigilance, whatever medical coding we do, that is very small part, but the medical coding, which I'm going to talk about in this video is entirely it's an industry like it's a full fledged medical coding and what it is. What is the use? I'm going to discuss it. Okay. So first is what is medical coding and different kinds of coding. So medical coding is a process of taking patients healthcare information, which can be, you know, any medical procedure to which the patient undergone or any diagnosis from the patient report or any necessary medical equipment, any medical services information the patient took that we have to take from the physician okay so we will be getting uh, notes from physicians and also there will be patient data so uh, from that we have to take all this information you know medical procedure diagnosis side and symptoms necessary medical information or any medical services that patient undergone yeah and then we have to convert the diagnosis or maybe any surgical procedure or maybe any the medical services information the patient took that we have to convert into a code that is known as medical code and medical code is a universal alphanumeric code okay it's a universal alphanumeric code we have to assign these medical codes to these medical terminologies, diagnosis, med, uh, medical services, or any surgical process the patient undergone. Now, where there is the use of this code? Why we are converting these things into medical codings so that the patient can get insurance benefit. Okay, when, whenever you know the report is going for insurance claim and at the back end, there is a requirement of these medical codes. Yeah. So there are three types of, you know, universally known this alphanumeric codes inside medical coding. So first is ICD. It means International Classification of Disease. So through this ICD classification system, we classify the disease into different alphanumeric codes and which is used to code the symptoms, any disease, any illness and the cause of death from the patient report. 
second kind of coding is the current procedural terminologies that we call as cpt okay in cpt we we used to code doctors services surgical procedure and diagnostic procedure into alpha numeric code now the last one is healthcare common procedure coding okay as the name is suggesting here we are coding some healthcare common procedure so this is used to code products and supplies used for patient care whatever supplies is required to for the patient care when the patient is in hospital all those products and supplies we code with this healthcare common procedure coding hcp hcpcs okay so these codes again these codes helps insurance companies researchers and healthcare providers for the exact diagnosis procedure and medical services provided to the patient okay so this was about medical coding uh, we can code any disease any diagnosis any symptom any diagnostic procedure any surgical procedure any medical services the patient took or any products and supplies used for the patient care okay everything we can code uh, in this alpha numeric code which are universal okay so this is about what exactly medical coding is okay now eligibility wise second is who all are eligible so till date you know all i mean they need simple graduation but because of as it's a medical coding you should be having fair enough knowledge of physiology anatomy so in that days when healthcare healthcare uh, professionals and alternate medicine graduate people they were not aware about this field at that time the company used to take you know simple graduate also because they at that time healthcare providers professionals they did not used to, they did not come to they did not used to come to this field because they did not have any awareness now as more healthcare becoming aware of this field more science graduates specifically biology graduates are becoming aware of this field so company always prefer people who are like science graduate biology and definitely doctors like dentists physiotherapists alternate medicine graduates because see definitely without doubt if i talk about the anatomy physiology knowledge definitely healthcare professionals have far better understanding of these topics because we have already read these thing in our graduation right we know anatomy we know physiology we have better medical understanding as compared to any you know graduate or maybe simple biology graduate yeah so doesn't mean that biology graduate they can't apply they can also do if you are ready to learn new thing definitely you can do but yeah for healthcare professionals it comes with i mean it becomes very easy because they all already know anatomy and physiology yeah so with this eligibility criteria is simple graduation also works but yeah as the competition is rising more and more healthcare professional becoming aware of this field so if you are a healthcare professional okay pharmacy graduate uh, dentist physiotherapist alternate medicine graduate then definitely you can come inside this field of medical coding it will become easy for you because you already have a good understanding of anatomy physiology and medical concept yeah now third question which i am going to cover in this what is the if what will be the effect of artificial intelligence on medical coding okay so with this this is safe to stay with medical coding and definitely it will be demand in the coming years as well so few processes definitely going to be automated uh, where you know uh, which is not purely medical coding like uh, artificial intelligence have already you know started doing the things in medical billing workflows where artificial intelligence will support coding staff as it helps streamline medical billing workflow and strengthen the medical coding accuracy but doesn't mean medical coders will not be required there will always be requirement of medical coding now maybe because of artificial intelligence the the number of medical coders they need will become less and see for any process they can't completely rely on machines like right? artificial intelligence all these are like machines only like human intervention is required everywhere 
and specifically if i talk about medical coding there you need to have minute observation you need to have you know a good understanding of you know going through the reports because if you do i mean if you go, go, give more codes or you do under coding or over coding all these are very critical things inside medical coding so with this definitely not ai is going to completely hold it human intervention is always required and definitely future is good so guys in the upcoming few videos i will be talking about the future how it is job opportunity and also i will talk about what is cpc certification and how it helps to make a profession to make a career inside medical coding and also i will talk about salary structure everything in the coming videos till now it is enough uh, to just understand what is medical coding eligibility criteria and how ai is going to impact it yeah i hope you like this video and if you really like this video guys please subscribe to our channel and i would recommend you to recommend this video to recommend our channel to your friends especially for all healthcare professionals life science graduates who are looking for these kind of alternate uh, you know career options and for healthcare professionals who are looking for alternate non clinical options please share this video with your friends also with this going to conclude this video and will be coming soon with some fresh next video on medical coding itself so we are going to unwind all the details about the medical coding in upcoming 2 3 videos okay so please stay tuned stay updated please keep watching our videos and just be updated what next we are going to upload yeah with this going to conclude it uh, have a nice day stay safe aware updated and keep exploring new things yeah thank you thank you all